प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अ वीडियो फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट बुक डॉट कॉम जय हिंद गाइस मैं नितिन मिश्रा वेलकम यू ऑन टेक्स्ट बुक डॉट कॉम और आज हम बात करने वाले हैं डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग की जो आपके एग्जाम का सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है बिकॉज इट इज अ डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर ऑफ योर सिलेक्शन इन जॉब सो आई रियली फील पॉजिटिव एंड एनर्जेटिक कि आप सभी इक्वल इंटरेस्ट से इस पूरे सेशन को अटेंड करेंगे एंड डोंट ट्राई टू यू नो गेट आउट ऑफ दीडियो प्लीज इस वीडियो को पूरा देखिए बिकॉज इस वीडियो में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट uh, डिस्कशन होने वाला है तो अगर हम बात करते हैं डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग आई बी पी एस दो हजार अट्ठारह तो गाइज ही वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी डूज द वेरी डोंट्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर द वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग लेट मी टेल यू द वेरी रीजन बिहाइंड टेकिंग सच एग्जाम्स basically uh, when you appear the mains examination exactly just after the mains examination you will have to write the descriptive part of your examination और इस पूरे एग्जामिनेशन को आपको 30 मिनट्स के अंदर करना है दैट मीन दैट पार्ट विल हैव 30 मिनट्स टोटल ड्यूरेशन और इस पार्ट में आपको दो अलग अलग चीजें लिखनी होती है द फर्स्ट वन इज ए से and the second one is latter and if you really try to understand what basically uh, letters are sort of to aap dekhoge there are two kinds of letter that you need to write formal letter or it's optional in formal letter so when it comes to comment over ki why so basically what i have realized ki uh the descriptive part of your examination has a clear objective and the objective is to test that how better you are as a communicator when it comes to write and this is how they have divided this section into two parts first is essay writing and the next or letter is letter writing Uh, if you ask me, ki sir, what is the logic behind writing essay? Why examination ask us to do so? The irony says, ki when you write your essay, what actually you are being tested in is that how well you present your idea. That means in essay writing, you are not getting marks over the essay. you are getting marks or you are being checked on the basis of that how better best idea representative you are aap apne vichar ko kitne best tarike se samne wale ke samne present karte that means this part checks your presentation of idea ki agar aapko kisi tark par किसी विचार पर कुछ कहना है तो आप उस विचार को किस तरीके से कहते हो सो दिस इज हाउ द वेरी आई बिलीव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एसे स्टैंड फॉर कि इट चेक्स योर आइडिया प्रेजेंटेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ राइटिंग तो आपको एसे राइट करते समय भी इस बात का क्लियरली ध्यान रखना है दैट यू आर नॉट जस्ट राइटिंग एन एसे यू आर ट्राइंग टू कन्विंस द एग्जामिनेट एग्जामिनेटर यू आर ट्राइंग टू कन्विंस द एग्जामिनर दैट हाउ यू थिंक ओवर द मैटर एंड यू हैव टू इंप्रेस हिम बाय योर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ड्राइंग सच पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल एंड इफ यू talk about letter writing that what does really it mean letter writing basically demands a unique technique of uh, communicating that how well you can communicate with others because when it comes to letter writing obviously you are communicating maybe in a formal way or in an informal way so this is how they have divided this section into two parts they want to check you how better how well you can communicate in terms of formal environment and also in informal environment so i guess guys ki it is now clear that what is descriptive paper 
what are the sections there and if you will ask me the total marks then total marks are 25 and total timing is what 30 minutes but if you will try to understand ki what are the score weightage then for me AC writing contains tw uh, 15 marks and letter writing may be formal, may be informal. It is up to you that which one you are picking and writing. So AC is, stands for 15 marks and letter writing stands for 10 marks. So this is how composite marks will be 25 and total timing, composite timing will be 30 minutes and the very big challenge. See guys, uh, if I say that if it is only about representation of the idea, then it will be not a proper thing to say because in this era, we all students have a diverse variety. We are very frank with the pen, I guess. Sorry guys, this exam is computer based. I mean to say, you all have to type the AC. You all have to type the letter within 30 minutes for 15 and 10 marks which are very essential for you to get the job but on keyboard. So what all I am saying is the first ch challenge in front of you is not only representation of the idea, not only how you communicate but also are you really frank enough in writing on keyboard? So guys, I, I hope that you got my point. What exactly I want to say, try to write, try to practice daily on laptop, on keyboard, on desktop because it will check your uh, typing speed as well because I'm not saying that you have to type a lot of but if I say that ASA then you are supposed to write at least 200 words but now you think if you have to write a ASA for 15 marks now you think that you have to write 30 minutes ASA and write a letter bhi likhna hai. Vishay aapke liye may be known ho, may be unknown ho. So it is a deciding factor ki aap ise kis tarike se take kar rahe ho. Agar aapne time zyada laga diya, agar aapne time ka khyal nahi rakha to sochi, shay thodi si cheeze imbalance ho sakti hai, to better hai ki hum yaha pe practice kare. To agar hum baat karte hai descriptive writing 2018 ki, to hum yaha aage baat karenge do's ki, don'ts ki, important topics ki. Iske alawa hum baat karenge aakhir previous year kaun kaun se questions I say. So we'll have a better idea ki aakhir is examination mein humko kis tarike se jana hai aur kya kya possibilities ho sakti hai. So I believe that this part of the session is clear to you that this examination will contain two different varieties of question, essay and letter and then this will contain I believe 15 and 10 marks with 30 minutes. So guys practice on keyboard is the key to success and आगे हम बात करने वाले हैं कि आखिर इस एग्जाम को किस तरीके से टेकल करना है। गाइस यहाँ से बात करेंगे अब कि सबसे पहले जो हमको ये दो टॉपिक्स के ऊपर बात करनी है एसी राइटिंग और लेटर राइटिंग। तो पिक करेंगे सबसे पहले एसी राइटिंग एंड विल स्टार्ट विद दिस। इफ वी रियली वांट टू टॉक और नो अबाउट then uh, I believe the better way to start this is from the last year question because this will give us a very clear phenomenal, phenomenal idea ki last year ke kya AC writing ke topics the aur us hesaab se hum draw kar sakte hai ki aakhir exam mein ek student ko karna kya hota hai. Toh, अगर हम बात करते हैं लास्ट ईयर की टॉपिक्स की तो तीन अलग-अलग क्वेश्चंस -अलग आए थे जिनमें से किसी एक मुद्दे पर आपको ऐसे राइटिंग करनी थी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट आस्क्ड इन द एग्जामिनेशन वाज गैजेट्स अफेक्टिंग ऑन इंटेलेक्चुअल कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन यानी आप देख सकते हो हमारे पास जो पहला टॉपिक ऑफ ऐसे आया था दैट वाज कि आखिर में गैजेट्स का मानसिक प्रभाव ह्यूमन के ऊपर कैसा पड़ता है इसके ऊपर हमारे पास एक ऐसे राइटिंग की सब्जेक्ट आई थी दूसरी थी एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ कैशलेस इकोनॉमी 
तो ये दो टॉपिक फिलहाल हुई अब देखो आपके प्रश्न जो इस साल आएंगे वो भी इसी प्रकार से आप देख सकते हो टॉपिक मेंशन होगी आपको इन टॉपिक्स में से एक टॉपिक चुननी होगी और आपको उन टॉपिक्स पर लिखना होगा अब आपको चुनने का और लिखने का एक ही सिंगल मीनिंग है दैट यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग योर व्यूज योर आइडियाज ओवर द मैटर तो आपको पूरा फोकस रखना है दैट हाउ बेटर यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट आते हैं एक और क्वेश्चन जो लास्ट ईयर पूछा गया था दैट वाज विच रिफॉर्म इन इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम कैन बी कंपेयर्ड विद इंटरनेशनल लेवल यानी भारतीय शिक्षा का ऐसा कौन सा पहलू है अंग है हिस्सा है जो इंटरनेशनल अंतरराष्ट्रीय लेवल तक तुलना कंपेयर किया जा सकता है तो उस पार्ट को आपको हाईलाइट करते हुए एक ऐसे लिखना था तो वट आई रियली वन शो यू थ्रू दिस ऑब्वियसली ये तो पास टॉपिक से बट फिर भी मैं यहाँ पर इसको लेकर आ रहा हूँ जस्ट टू टेल यू कि देखिए एग्जाम के क्वेश्चन ऐसे ही आपको तीन सब्जेक्ट मिलेंगे इन तीन में से आपको एक चुनना है अब उस एक को पंद्रह मार्क्स के लिए लिख रहे हो अब देखो तीस मिनट में अगर देख ले तो बड़े आराम से आप उसको बीस मिनट या अठारह मिनट जरूर दोगे तो आपको ये बीस और अठारह मिनट में एक ऐसे कंप्लीट करना है वो भी की पर तो उम्मीद है आपको क्या करना है उसका एक फर्स्ट स्टेप एक ओवरव्यू मिल गया होगा हम धीरे धीरे अपने सब्जेक्ट के अंदर इंटर करते जाएंगे और चीजों को और डेफ्थ पर और डेफ्थ पर समझ पाएंगे सो गाइज नाउ इट इज टाइम टू टॉक अबाउट द वेरी टॉपिक्स दैट वर आस्ट फॉर लेटर राइटिंग अगर हम लास्ट ईयर के ऐसे राइटिंग के बाद बात करें लास्ट ईयर के लेटर राइटिंग पर तो ऑब्वियसली अगेन देर वर थ्री डिफरेंट letters that have been asked the very first letter was asked about writing a letter to branch manager informing him the branch manager that that you have lost a credit card and you are now requesting him to issue a new credit card this was the one of the first topics that uh, that was asked in the last year second topic that was the last year has been asked is i guess write a letter to your classmate uh to choose his career between quite well job that can pay him best or an independent business to ye do topic filhal jo letter mein introduce hui aur teesri thi that that was you have been observing that your subordinates are not working properly and now you are supposed to write a letter to the hr department About regarding the same, so now you can understand कि exam में जब आप appear हो गए तो आपको letter writing के लिए भी तीन अलग अलग choices होंगी आपको एक choice pick करनी है formal हो सकती है या फिर informal हो सकती है in the same way, अगर हम letter के बाद अगर बात करें ऐसे writing की तो इसमें भी आपको तीन अलग अलग subjects पर ऐसे लिखने के लिए choices given होंगी then you have to choose the same. अब हम यहाँ पे बात करेंगे दैट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग गई बात को आगे बढ़ाते हैं अभी हमने जाना कि आखिर ऐसे को किस तरीके से अटेम्प्ट करना चाहिए और उसके अलावा लेटर्स के हमने एग्जाम्पल ले ली कि कौन कौन से एग्जाम में क्वेश्चंस आए थे तो अब बात आती है कि हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस सच कंटेंट हाउ टू डिजाइन देम हाउ टू गिव देम स्ट्रक्चर वट इज द बेस्ट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर ए सी और लेटर तो एज यू कैन सी on the screen we are here with the format of essay uh, i'm just trying to give you a brief a small uh, brief ki aakhir mein kaise hum uh, design karenge structure of a essay agar hum dhyan se dekhe to aap dekh sakte ho ki basic essay format says it must consist of three main parts first is introduction second is body and third is conclusion so following this format will help you write and organize an essay however flexibility is important in this essay bahut zyada strict nahi hona hai jitne flexible rahenge jitne flow mein aap cheezon ko present karoge that will be a better way to convey the idea and while keeping the basic easy format in mind you must think ki aap topic ko uh, and specific assignment ko guide ko aur राइट कर रहे हो सो आपको उसके हिसाब से फ्लैक्सीबल रहना पड़ेगा
सो so, अगर हम बात करते हैं पार्ट्स ऑफ ए से की जो कि बहुत ज़रूरी है एज़ यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज़ इंट्रोडक्शन तो आप देख सकते हो इस इंट्रोडक्शन में कि यहाँ पर सबसे पहले जो बेगनिंग हो रही है दैट इज़ ऑफ एन इंट्रोडक्शन की और इंट्रोडक्शन गाइड्स योर रीडर इन टू द पेपर बाय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द टॉपिक इट शुड बिगेन विद अ हुक दैट कैच इज द रीडर्स इंटरेस्ट एंड दिस हुक कुड बी अ कोट दिस कैन बी एन एनालॉजी दिस कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन इवन यानी यू कैन स्टार्ट योर इंट्रोडक्शन विद अ क्वेश्चन इवन सो देर आर थ्री वेज टू हैव अ गुड स्टार्ट ओवर अ टॉपिक एंड आफ्टर गेटिंग द रीडर्स अटेंशन द इंट्रोडक्शन शुड गिव सम बैकग्राउंड इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन द टॉपिक मीन्स फर्स्ट ट्राई टू कैच द अटेंशन ऑफ द रीडर एंड देन स्टार्ट गिविंग दैम अ ब्रीफ अबाउट द टॉपिक एंड द आइडिया विद इन द इंट्रोडक्शन शुड बी जनरल इनफ फॉर द रीडर टू अंडरस्टैंड द मेन क्लेम एंड ग्रेजुअलिटी एंड बिकम मोर स्पेसिफिक टू इन टू द थीसी स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज हाउ यू शुड डिजाइन योर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इट शुड कैरी थ्री मेजर पार्ट्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट डोंट बिगेन विद द फ्लो ट्राई टू ग्रैप द अटेंशन ऑफ द रीडर एंड देन पुट योर पॉइंट वेरी क्लियरली दैट वॉट इज योर ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड वॉट इज द सब्जेक्ट एंड देन ट्राई टू मेक इट इन जनरल कि आप उसको एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो और उसके बाद देन लीड इन टू थीसीज तब आप बाद में थीसीज पे जम्प करो सो यू कैन सी अगर हम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पैराग्राफ की बात करते हैं ए से के अंदर तो सबसे पहला जो हमारे पास पार्ट होगा दैट विल बी आई गेस अगर आप ध्यान से देखो तो इंट्रोडक्शन एंड उसके बाद अगर हम बात करते हैं देन विल हैव थीसीज स्टेटमेंट दिस विल बी द सेकेंड टर्म ऑफ द पैराग्राफ ऑफ एन ए सी देन विल हैव मेन आइडिया इन फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ जो कि हमारा तीसरा पॉइंट हो सकता है उसी के अंदर हम आ सकता है मेन आइडिया इन सेकेंड पैराग्राफ हमने मेन आइडिया को और डिटेल में बताया एंड देन मेन आइडिया को और रिजल्टिंग बनाने के लिए आपने यूज किया इट इज अप टू यू दैट यू आर कोटिंग योर मेन आइडिया इन वन पैराग्राफ टू पैराग्राफ और थ्री पैराग्राफ इट इज अप टू यू टोटली अप टू यू एंड देन यू विल एंड अप विद द कॉन्क्लूजन एंड दिस विल बी द फिफ्थ part of your paragraph so you can see this is how you can divide your paragraph minimum 3 or maximum 5 6 7 it is up to you ki aap usko kitne adhik breakage mein tod do these are the basic structure of a you know paragraph of essay to agar aap isko design karoge to aapko aur zyada samajh aayega when you are writing when you are making a practice do कीप इन माइंड इस स्ट्रक्चर को जरूर ध्यान में रखें और इसके अकॉर्डिंग चले uh, अगर हम बात करते हैं नेक्स्ट पार्ट जो आपने देखा दैट वॉज थी स्टेटमेंट तो थी स्टेटमेंट कंसाइजली स्टेट द मेन आइडिया और आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ द ए सी एंड सेट्स लिमिट ऑन द टॉपिक एंड कैन इंडिकेट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द ए सी द थी वर्क एज अ रोड मैप फॉर द entire essay showing the reader what you have to say and which main points you will use to support your ideas so aap dekh sakte ho ab ye jo thesis statement hai uske baad baat aayegi body ki in the body of essay uh, basically it supports the main point presented in the thesis jo aapne thesis mein present kiye hain usko ye support karegi each point is developed by one or more paragraph supported with the specific details these details can include support from research enterprises depending on the assignment in addition to the support the author owns analysis and discussion of the topic ties ideas together and draws conclusions so this is how the body goes and conclusion especially those that uh, support the thesis refer to the part of the paragraph below for further information of writing is given to make a best body of the paragraph to aap dekh sakte ho this is how we have thesis statement body and then we look for what the transitions should be if we see the transitions from body to the conclusion it should be a connected paragraph to each other to the thesis thesis should be well connected with the paragraphs they are used within and between paragraph to help the paper flow from the topic to the next and these transitions can be one or two words like first next 
in addition to these are the words that transit the idea very well and then you have one or more sentences that brings the readers next main point and the topic sentence of a paragraph often serves as a transition sometimes so this is how basically transitions really help because when you jump from one idea to the other idea you really need it uh if we end up the paragraph with a conclusion then in the conclusion you must keep in mind that it brings together all the main points of the essay what is a conclusion when you a uh, tie when you sum up all the main point of the essay that will then become the conclusion it refers back to the thesis statement and leaves reader with a final thought and sense of closure by resolving any idea brought up in the essay it may also re address the implications of argument in the conclusion new topics ideas were not developed in the paper should not be introduced so this is how you will form your conclusion uh, if we really want to dive deep into the paragraph then next is uh, if you really see this is citations citations is nothing but if you really see your paper that incorporates research be sure to give the credit to each source using in the text citation suppose you are quoting anything from you have gathered from any site from any book from any sources you can quote the citations like uh, references bibliography page agar aapke paas ho otherwise aap ise apne examination mein avoid bhi kar sakte ho it was just a part of standard writing jagar hum baat karte hain to agar next par aaye which is part of a paragraph an essay a paragraph discusses one idea in detail that supports the thesis of the essay each paragraph in the body of the paper should include a topic sentence supporting details to support the topic sentence and a concluding sentence that will conclude and sum up all the ideas the paragraphs purpose and scope will determine its length but most paragraph contain at least two complete statement uh, for more information agar aap dhyan se dekho to aapko ye jo uh, PPTs हैं ये जो स्लाइड्स हैं विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू अलॉट देन विल जम्प इन टू टॉपिक सेंटेंसेज टॉपिक सेंटेंसेज आर नथिंग बट द मेन आइडिया ऑफ ईच पैराग्राफ इज स्टेटेड एज टॉपिक सेंटेंस दैट शोज हाउ द आइडिया रिलेट टू द सीज जनरली द टॉपिक सेंटेंस इज प्लेस्ड एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अ पैराग्राफ बट द लोकेशन एंड प्लेसमेंट मे वेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडिविजुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड ऑडियंस एक्सपेक्टेशन topic sentence often serves as transitions between paragraph so these are the topic sentences sometime you can use it as a transition statement sometime you can uh, support the details whenever required agar hum baat karte hain supporting details ki then supporting details elaborates upon the topic sentence and thesis supporting details should be drawn from a variety of sources determined by assignment guidelines and janaya and should include writers own analysis it is very important to have writers own analysis and guys this is very important when you try to write a concluding statement what are the uh, points key features that you should keep in your mind each paragraph should end with a final statement that brings together the idea brought up in the paragraph sometime it can serve as a transition as well to the next paragraph uh, so you can see the topic sentence is there a root cause of childhood attention deficit disorder is difficult to determine and then we have supporting detail 1 then we have supporting detail 2 and then we are concluding with the statement that says in the classic questions of nature versus nature in this case the answer appears to be both so you can see the author has concluded the statement using the supporting detail 1 using the supporting detail 2 and then he has concluded entire thing in one note so this is how this is concluding note that uh, sum up the ideas or sometime used as transition to the next paragraph 
so this was the entire theme that you should keep in your mind but the last but not the least a uh, coherency and unity is something which is very 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 essential while writing the paragraph because when you write a paragraph like uh suppose aap ek main idea one paragraph likh rahe ho fir dusra main idea ka paragraph likh rahe ho so this is how you are designing your paragraph which is very much necessary in writing is ki whether you are maintaining the coherency of the passages coherency of the paragraphs or not so proper essay and paragraph format not only help us to achieve unity and coherence but also enhance the readers understanding well worked topic sentences and concluding sentences will also help maintaining unity throughout the essay and there are two point that are uh, unity is the continuity of a single idea jisko aap thesis bhi kehte ho throughout the essay each detail and example should develop logically and refer back to the original focus and the second point is coherence basically mean that each point should be linked to the previous and following points to help the essay flow progress logically and clearly and essay an essay if you really see in an essay the easy way to think paragraph together is through transition in between paragraphs and topic sentences so this is how you uh, logically design your paragraphs in the essay to ab aage hum baat karne wale hain some examples jo ki hum wapas dekhenge ki kaise sentence develop kiya gaya kaise paragraph develop kiye gaye uh guys now after knowing the facts figures and structure of a essay to ab hum baat kar rahe hain example ki now you can see on the screen uh this is an example essay on women entrepreneurs in india and you can see hamara jo yahan pe introduction hai that is the world entrepreneur has mostly been synonymous with men so again aapne ek catchy point diya jahan pe jo reader hai jo reader hai wo pehle attention le uske baad fir aapne use shuru kiya in the 21st century do things and the things like going on so this is the first paragraph then second paragraph you can see uh, first paragraph mein aapne kaha ki things are changing into 21st century and may many successful female entrepreneurs have emerged these women are becoming role models and flourishing in their respective fields their confidence refusal to be dominated by men has inspired many more women across the country these women have been acknowledged in their respective fields have been received accolades for their work अब इस तरीके से फिर हम आए सेकेंड पे जहाँ पर हमने मेन uh, आइडिया को डिस्कस किया ये फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ है हमारा मेन आइडिया का और यहाँ पर हम कह रहे हैं द टर्म इंटरप्रेन्योर इज बेसिकली रनिंग योर ओन बिजनेस एंड द पर्सन हु हैज एन आइडिया एंड द पर्सन हु एग्जीक्यूट्स दिस आइडिया एंड मेक्स श्योर दैट इट फंक्शन स्मूदली कॉल्ड एन इंटरप्रेन्योर इंटरप्रेन्योर्स कैन ऑल्सो helm a business and make sure it runs smoothly so this is how you are just trying to go deeper into the topic and then we have the second main idea in the paragraph next given the rapid strides that these women have taken over the past few decades have shown us the caliber that all women inherently proposes for india women and then we have some discussions and then we have a conclusion as all women decided to explore themselves and not limit their life to certain jobs then each one of them can become a successful entrepreneur working by their own rules constantly living their own life women can achieve this dream and in the coming decades women will do brilliantly in so called male domains as well so you can see the entire passage this uh, structures the idea this gives a better version of the opinion and conclude in the same possible way so this is how we really draw an essay i guess to aapne dekha yahan par ek essay ka jo humne example liya let's have the another example of uh, 
they say and the topic you can say media and public opinion in contemporary world so you can see author has begun in general and trying to catch the attention of the reader by saying before i delve into the intricacies of the topic let us go back to the time when there were no tvs no advertisements no newspapers now what is the role of these very lines obviously trying to catch the attention of the readers then going deep into the topic by saying in those days do you think you would know who say for instance dr raghuram rajan was impossible it is not possible so i guess ki this is how the passage trying to go deeper into the main idea and from the second paragraph you can say it is the sheer amount of media presence there that makes it so important so crucial take a look around and you will realize so it is such an essay that is trying to communicate with the reader because when you will read it you will feel that author writer is trying to uh, have a conversation with you so it is very realistic and very जेन्यन राइटिंग बिकॉज यहाँ पर ऐसा लग रहा है जैसे कि हम सामने वाले से बातें कर रहे हैं एंड इफ यू रियली सी यू कैन ऑब्जर्व देन द थर्ड पैराग्राफ गिविंग मोर डीपर डिटेल ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट विच इज मीडिया एंड पब्लिक ओपिनियन इन द कंटेम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स हाउ टी वी चैनल्स आर परफॉर्मिंग इन द वेरी वे जो भी यहाँ पे डिटेल्स अगर आपको दिख रही हो जैसे कि ऑन द अदर हैंड जस्ट टू मेक फर्स्ट बक्स अ फ्यू मीडिया चैनल शो केस absurd content without even considering the effect such visual have on the society and then we have conclusion thus it is of utmost importance that the media realizes its responsibility of modeling the public opinion and does so in the positive and constructive manner so as to bring the progressive change in this is the message actually so now you can see what we actually do in the ac writing is when you try to put a point you put it in a general manner then you give details you give uh, reasoning for your thoughts what they are and then after concluding uh, all the main point and trying to chain as one you conclude it in the end of the paragraph so this is how the paragraph or ac is totally designed so i guess ki now you can see these are the just two mere examples but you should prefer writing many more uh, aage hum badhenge letter writing ki taraf and dekhenge letter writing mein kya cheeze humko format mein dekhni hai now guys i guess ki you can see in the letter writing uh, it is an informal in, uh, letter writing so yahan pe jo subject hamara hai that is write a letter to your elder brother asking him to guide you in making a career choice it is uh ha it has been a past year questions but agar hum baat karte hain format ki it is obviously clear ki hum sabse pehle likhte hain yahan par address jo ki senders ka hai receiver address then salutation which is informally said as dear brother and then we have body and body should be like you are trying to communicate because in the uh, first part of the video i really remember that i have already told you that the motive the primary motive of writing letter is to check how good you are in terms of communication how you communicate with others so this is the test of communication so you must communicate in such a way which is active what i mean taki reader भी इस कॉन्वर्सेशन में अपना पार्टिसिपेशन रखे सो so, यहाँ पर आप देखो आई होप दिस लेटर फाइंड्स यू इन द बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड स्पिरिट इज अ बेस्ट स्टार्टर आई गेस फॉर दिस लेटर देन वी आर पुटिंग द सब्जेक्ट आई एम राइटिंग दिस लेटर टू सीक करियर एडवाइस फ्रॉम यू आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग माई ग्रेजुएशन दिस ईयर आई इंटेंडेड टू टेक अप अ शॉर्ट टर्म कोर्स इन बैंकिंग मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम अ रेपिटेड बैंकिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इन मुंबई आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस कोर्स आई एम श्योर दैट द बैंकिंग सर्टिफिकेट्स विल open the door for opportunities for me in the private banking sectors and why banking why do a banking course why private sector i know that these are some of the questions you may want to ask me see 
how genuinely how practically the uh, writer has uh, used these words to make a better conversation with the uh, reader because obviously it seems like you are asking a live vivacious questions there on the screen agar aap aur aage badhte ho then the very conversation goes on what he has done the details are there and then you can see the entire letter is ending in one note that please give my best regard to your wife and lots of love to your cute daughter riya it is giving a personal touch that yeah i really care for you and it is not just for asking you something i really have some uh, care for you and your family so aage aap wahan pe aur add on kar de rahe ho that i am hoping to meet you and your family this christmas for a fantastic vacation so here in uh, in informal letter you can drive your story by your own way because there is no uh, blockage there is no problem you can drive your own car at the end you can write just your lovingly whosoever the name is remembering part is this name either should be xyz or should be a falsy name try to uh, understand this psychology that people usually see ki sir wahan pe maan lijiye main apna naam nahi likh raha hu to bhi kya main dusra ka naam likhu main ya to aap se kahunga ya to aap wahan par xyz likh do ya to aise naamon ko likho jo ki ek जनरल नाम ना हो जैसे कि आप आ, कोई दूसरा नाम लिखो जो देखकर ही लगे कि एक फॉल्स ही नेम है दिस इंटेंशन इज वेरी हेल्पफुल इन द एग्जामिनेशन और आगे बढ़ेंगे फॉर द फॉर्मल लेटर सो हियर वी आर विद द फॉर्मल लेटर फॉर्मेट यू कैन सी अ लेटर फॉर्मेट लेटर फॉर्मल लेटर इज देयर एंड द वेरी डायरेक्शन इज की राइट अ फॉर्मल लेटर टू योर म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन इन अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड वर्ड्स कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ रोड्स इन योर एरिया एंड द लेक ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइट देयर तो आप इसको डिजाइन करो विद द अगेन सेम सेंडर्स एड्रेस रिसीवर्स एड्रेस देन वी हैव सैल्यूटेशन देन वी हैव सब्जेक्ट व्हिच इज वेरी नेसेसरी इन दैट याद रखिएगा सब्जेक्ट शुड बी वन लाइनर सब्जेक्ट हमेशा वन लाइनर होना चाहिए एंड देन यू जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस योर सब्जेक्ट विद द स्टार्ट आई हु द नेम विल बी देअर रेजिडेंशियल कहाँ के वो आप एड्रेस बता रहे हैं यू आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू put the text the context in the best possible smooth way jitna general or smooth ho utna better hai guys aur aap dekh sakte ho aage likha hua hai the this letter is to draw the attention you are again trying to catch the attention of the reader agar yahan pe reader ki baat kare to ye hai municipal corporation so obviously you are trying to first interact and asking for the attention and then you will put your point ki bhai meri baat ye ye thi so this is the first paragraph and then you can see the problem has go, gone into the deep uh, shore aap dekho dhyan se ye aur zyada clearly ek ek incident wahan pe explain kiya ja raha hai and then we have further it has become very difficult for a pedestrian to walk along this road due to the fact that vehicles including company buses cabs cars tend to avoid the path holes and drive along the side of the road so this is how the design of the uh, letter is just given and then we have one single conclusion with the same uh, gist with the same context that we have started the letter and it says that uh, these conditions have caused a lot of inconvenience to the residents of this area as well as communities and keeping the above in view i hope that the sdmc will initiate expeditious step to ensure the repairing of the road and proper lighting thank you and then you are just giving a small ending with uh, thank you yours faithfully and then name so this is the basic format and when you talk about formatting of the page all the formatting should be left side of your page keep this in your mind so i really hope guys that you enjoyed this session and this session would added some uh, points which are past year questions what should you do what are the key features and how a paragraph should be designed how we should write an essay letter pe baat ki humne formal and informal so i believe that this information would definitely add some uh, good points to you to ye aapne dekha humne essay aur uh, jo hamare 
यहाँ पे लेटर्स थे उसके एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे लिए सो गाइज दिस इज हाउ यू कैन फाइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो कंप्लीटली डिवोटेड टू डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग विच इज़ वेरी इसेंशियल इन योर पेपर आई होप दैट यू हैव गेट सम नॉलेज एंड सम टिप्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो If you do have any query, do write me on Nathan dot Mr at the red textbook dot com, and then we'll soon meet in the class. And I hope that you are enjoying the festival as well as practicing practicing the section which is either mock test or sectional test. So guys, खूब मेहनत करिए, खूब enjoy करिए, पढ़ाई करते रहिए. फिलहाल यहीं पर इस class को pause करते हैं. अगली class में फिर मुलाकात करेंगे. Have a fantastic festival. Jai Hind.